smoke signals from around the campfire. So how, what I was before was I was a writer, I was a quite well-known anti-racist trainer. I'd worked at national and international levels uh, with agencies like the UN and um, Save the Children. But I had also done quite a lot of freelance work. My specialism actually was working with uh, mostly white audiences. So anti-racism, particularly in mostly white areas. So that's what I was before. I was always, of course, committed to politics and what you would call an activist. And really by chance, by chance of being the, a person in the right place, I became the vice chair of Momentum. So Momentum was supposed to be the grassroots, uh, democratic, political group that would come out and defend the Corbyn project where needed and would also build up on the ground support for a radical change for our politics. In retrospect, I can see what happened was that I was targeted and I was targeted by a group called the uh, Israel advocacy movement who then trawled through all my Facebook posts and found one that they could uh, make hay with and they did that and I was suspended from the Labour Party. In fact a Labour Party official has since agreed that the post was actually not really um, of very much importance but it was it was then sort of twisted around and taken out of context and used to smear me. So I was suspended from the Labour Party, but I was put back into the Labour Party, I think in about four weeks. But once they have you, they don't let go. And so everything I did or said from that moment was watched. And to put a long story short, I was then suspended again about mm, six months after. And uh, that then led to my expulsion from the Labour Party and um, there's a lot of comment um, both online and in some newspapers that I was suspended for anti-semitism I wasn't I was suspended for sort of disrepute stuff ag against the Labour Party the really important thing to say though as part of that is that I am black of, as you can see but I'm also Jewish and my partner is Jewish and uh, half of my family actually live in Israel and I'm a member of a number of, of Jewish groups. It, it, it went from harassment online, spreading lies, calling me names and um, kind of suggestive threats. It went from, and this included, by the way, members of the Labour Party um, on the right of the Labour Party joining in this, and then it went from uh, organisations deciding to picket outside my meetings. Um, recently, in the last Labour Party conference, uh, there was a bomb threat against um, a film that I had been partly um, subject of and had to do with the making of called The Witch Hunt. Um, there was actually a bomb threat. And the interesting thing about that, here you have a bomb threat made during the Labour Party conference against a group of, of uh, Jewish members of the Labour Party and no mainstream media, by the way, reported it. But then apart from that, I've also had threats that someone's going to pour petrol on me and burn me alive, that I'm going to be gang raped, that my children are going to be subjected to all sorts of unpleasantness. And the threats against you just go on and on. What the Labour Party did, I think, was add to that abuse. And it was quite shocking, really, because in my hearing, they actually included a number of documents which I and a number of other people, inc including the solicitor who represented me, saw as being quite racist. And we asked that the Labour Party should withdraw four documents out of the something like 110 documents that they had submitted and the Labour Party refused to do that. Now, of course, bearing in mind that I'm not just black, I'm also Jewish, one thing I'm pretty sure of is that the Labour Party would never 
had submitted anything that could have been seen as anti-Semitic, but they felt comfortable submitting anti-black racism as part of their dossier against me. Oh, well, I wasn't going to stop. In fact, in a way, I was freed up by not being a member of the Labour Party. So I'd already written a play called The Lynching, which was only meant to be shown three times or so, once at the Edinburgh Festival and once at the another Labour Party conference. And that was had been shown actually all around the country and in Europe and in America as well. And so what I've started to do is apart from going out to speak when people ask me, in particular for showings of the film Witch Hunt, which by the way is available online and free if you go to the www.witchhunt.org uh, website. Um, so I go out and I will speak to introduce that. Um, I will go out and speak and I'm at the moment I'm writing a second play called Dangerous Black Women. I think it's really important that we start using different methods to communicate the complexities behind what's going on in politics at the moment. And so while I'm quite happy, and I do go and join demonstrations and pickets and do all the things that we all do, I also think it's really important to use drama and stories and art and singing and dance to actually communicate not just, if you like, the policies how we want things to change, but the feelings about why we need things to change and not just things for people like me, but, but for everybody. Um, I was asked to talk about the importance at Campfire. I was asked to talk about the importance of speaking the truth when it's most dangerous to do so. And so what I was hoping to do was apart from telling people something about what had occurred to me is actually, if you like, encourage people or bolster people to actually speak out and become active because the enemy of change and the enemy of democracy is silence. And the way things stay the same is when they keep you silent. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring that information here. And what have I gathered from it? Um, well, I've, I've, it's been extraordinary because I've been here and I've been able to pick up all sorts of information and feelings and people who are working at extraordinary levels to try and change the world, both from their personal stories and with their own communities, but in a more national, you know, and of course global way. But of course we do that, and we do that most effectively when we're enjoying ourselves. So I don't want us to forget that also that's what this has been about. It's been really lovely to be here.